Well, let's take a little walk in the woods. I'm recently working on uh, opening up some trails here in the back part of the claim. It's a lot of work. Sure have a lot of respect for the old timers. You know, they didn't have the luxuries that we have nowadays. You know, a little bit spoilt we are. But the past two days I've been working me and my partner on busting out trails. So you know, guy doesn't get sticks in the head all the time. Well, we're back here, maybe we'll talk a little bit about people that don't have any respect for other people's claims. You know, a person puts a lot of time and research into his claim, a lot of hard labor, and some people just think they can come along and do what they please, you know. I don't have much problem with a person with a pan on the creek since I can't do much mining down there. But even still, a guy should go through the proper channels. You know, it's still not something a lot of claim holders like. Let alone, like, say, a guy spending hours and hours busting and clearing up land for someone just to come in and take their gold. But as you can see, why I'm in here is it's all pretty much a low-lying bench with a small channel running through it. Small, small tributary. You can see the size of the trees in here, which tells me there's a good chance that not much mining activity was done in here. I'm probably going to run into a bit of water trouble down in here, but I'll deal with that problem later. For right now, I'm just trying to get all along these hillsides here for uh, testing, looking for old benches. As you can see in here, there's a rounded river rock peeking out. I've dug a couple holes. There are definitely river run gravels in here. And a small trace of gold so far, but say I'm doing more work busting out the trails here. And I'll start sampling later. You can see another large river run rock, large boulder here. So yeah, a good indication it's these large mature trees. You know, like some of them have to be a hundred years old or better, so Pretty good indication that they didn't mine back in here well in the early days. You didn't have excavators and stuff, so water was a definite issue. Yeah, a little spooky back in here. Well, you're off the beaten path. Animals and the bears are under so much pressure nowadays, getting crankier and crankier. Guy has to be careful. You know, I try to pack my rifle everywhere I go, but sometimes it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do. Not to mention, I carry my rifle for more than bears. I come in here and somebody's machine mining or 
something like that. I'm sure they'll uh, like four flat tires and a bullet through their radiator. <laughs> you know, eye for an eye. Like say, guy should do his proper research. If he wants access to a claim, there's avenues that a guy can do. You know, get a hold of the claim holder and talk to him. Don't just think he can do what you want. You know, like say a guy puts a lot of time and effort. Like I've been through this valley for five years now. You know, I'm getting better and better at locating golds. And for me to do all that time and research just for somebody to come in here and set up their high banker, you know, it won't be appreciated. You know, and don't don't expect just because you contact somebody that they're gonna let you on their claim. You gotta remember. There's only so much mineable ground and there's only so many people a guy can let on a claim. You know, I can't have a few hundred people here. And another nice river rock poking out. And here's the little uh, side channel I was talking about. You got lots of flat hilltops like old benches that'll be sampling. <coughs> and down and through this cut in the bottom here, like I say, a guy probably run into a lot of water problems, but there could be some decent gold down in there. You know, being the low part of the land, good collection area. There's something I found in the bush. Well, probably from the 1950s or 60s. The bear probably drug it off. Kind of neat. Yeah, like I say, me and other miners put a lot of work in. So a little respect goes a long way. And like I say, some of them might not be as friendly as me. So a guy might be taking his chances in no man's land. <laughs>